Welcome back to the Wildcats Network here, now joined by head coach Brad Wetzel once again. And coach, I have to start by asking the fact of the matter that you guys played solid Wildcat basketball on the road in a hostile environment. What's that like? Oh, it was it was a good feeling. It really was. I thought uh, you know to to go on the road in this section period is difficult to go against a team like that uh, and, and just play our butts off for 32 minutes. And it was nice that we were able to you know leave that gym with a win. So that was a big night for us. And the whole week prior, we saw your team lose two section games at Franklin Regional and at home against Penn Trafford. So. Did the emotions feel any better after that win, knowing that you lost two straight and you got that one? Well, it certainly was, a, you know, a, a challenge. I mean, the kids' red backs were against the wall, and and we didn't want to, we did not want to drop uh, to a two and three uh, record just because of how difficult this section is going to be. We're going to make the turn here uh, in in a week, and so that that win was big for all kinds of reasons. But I think the most important is the one you mentioned, just the resiliency of the players to to be able to knuckle down after the Friday loss, give two good workouts, and then go down there and play some good basketball. And you said after the game, not to us directly, but in general, it was the biggest win in program history in the past couple of years. Yeah. Do you think it was also season defining this year? Well, I hope not. Uh, I, I hope that was the start of something really special. You know, I hope that, was, that wasn't our zenith. I hope that was the start of something that's uh, to be, and that is uh, a team that, you know, comes out to the court and brings it every every game. So it was a terrific win. We haven't had one like that for a couple of years, and I, I'll hold to that. But I hope uh, that it's a a uh, footnote as to what we were able to accomplish this year. Now I know the last time we talked, we talked about Max Butler and what he brings to the table, and he had a game high 16 points for your team. But one player that might go under the radar because he didn't score a lot of points in that game, Jaton Williams. He forced the game in quote the game ceiling steal to get the bucket by John. What can be said about the way Jaton plays on a nightly, nightly basis? Yeah, just for those guys in general, but Jay in particular, you know, I, I think he just does so many things that maybe don't make it into the the, 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 the stats. Uh, but his his hands are great. They're always active. When he's on and, and running, you know, and, and his senior counterpart, Q's the same way. When those two got things going, uh, the team kind of feeds off that. And so, you know, like you said, it was – knuckle down time and I you, you can go down the line every single guy did something special in the last minute and a half of that game whether it was a key box out and rebound whether it was a hoop a steal a deflection so it was nice to see five guys really having a, a, a single purpose is it good to start off a game 14 and 2 uh, with 14 2 run every night yeah we'll always take that but that probably won't happen all the time but it was it was nice because you know against a team that like gateway who can score lots of points in bunches, uh, I thought that was a, a, a great way to start. So when you have those runs at the beginning of a game, especially with one of the best teams in PA, what does that do not only for the five on the court and you as a coach, but the bench and the fans? Well, you know what, it really allows you to, you hear a lot of times in football, they talk about staying ahead of the sticks and, and it, it allows them to open the playbook. Well, in basketball, it's not a whole lot differently. If, you're, if your team is the one dictating the tempo and the pace, and things like that. It enables you to sub when you want, sub who you want, uh, make some changes during the game and the flow of the game that are keeping you uh, on the attack. And if you're if you're uh, reacting uh, like we did a little bit the previous week, that makes it hard. So I think it's uh, if you can get out of the gate hard and fast, it's a, it's a tremendous advantage. Well, you guys turned the page tonight against Laurel Highlands. It's senior night, and you honor two key seniors, Kadarius Davis and Jaton Williams. Mm -hmm. What will be the emotions like for those two? Because they play an immense part of this team this year in particular, but also handling the emotions in order to get a win tonight. You're, you know, it, it's it's a night to honor them, but you know what? this. We, we like to think that the seniors this season honors them, you know, that we don't take anything for granted. That, you know, we talked from the very beginning, like, this is your last trip down the road, you know, and now we're going to really turn the page and this will be their last uh, turn in the section to earn a second season. So er, er, every game, I hope they embrace and enjoy it. But, you know, tonight's a little bit special because it's in particular uh, in their honor, and I think those two kids have really – you know, done some great things for our program. It might not be like your normal section night, but it should be a challenging one nonetheless. Coach, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Rich.